me a mistake. Can't you read a map? That's seven times now. Would you rather I not say stop? I'm just trying to be helpful here. Thanks a lot, Cindy. Thanks for the help. That's just great. Blame it all on me. It's a stupid transport with a messed up navigation. If it worked right, we wouldn't need a map. What do you expect from this piece of junk? It's not my fault. I mean, the thing is practically duct tape. We should have waited for the storm to pass. We could get trapped out here. A Mars sandstorm can last for weeks, you know, weeks. I warned you I'd be crabby if I didn't have a real bed to sleep in, so deal with it. I don't have to answer to you. All you've done so hey, far look. is sleep. Hey, you guys. Sleeping didn't come so hard when you were supposed to be looking at the map. Look, it's a trailer. Huh? Hey, excuse me. Can you help us? Thank you. We're lost. We need directions to the nearest town. Our navigation's out. Did he wave to us? Should we follow? Yes, follow him. I don't care where he takes us as long as there's a bed there. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Huge machine gun. What do you think they mine here? Everything's huge on Mars. I'm feeling tiny. Guess what, Spork? You are. I don't know what they're mining here, but it's great because it's all going back to Earth. Ah, what's so good about that? should be able to fix the trailer since the storm is let up. Hey Leon, do you think it's a long walk to the residential area from here? Find out for me, will ya? Excuse me? I just wanted to say thanks. We were really lost out there. Well, Mars is a hard planet, but that's all the more reason for us to try and help each other. I agree. Where's Cindy? She left. You mean without even saying goodbye? Without even saying thanks. That's gratitude. She must have a lot of friends. Huh. I wouldn't know! Not like Nikolai, who's a gentleman. should be able to do it, Dolores! What? But... Just do what I said! What kind of trouble are you getting into now? We need to get organized here. Oh, sir, uncle! Rebecca is being very inappropriate. She wants to be tied with rope. Hmm? She what? Well, that's what she said. What for? Because this is a war and I'm a prisoner of war! That's what you're supposed to do! Do I have to tell you everything about how to treat a POW? But tying someone up is not nice. Neither is war, sister. That's just the way things are done. Get it? But what if you have to use the bathroom or something? That would be inconvenient. Are you two a couple of numbskulls? I'm Mars-born and you are Earthers, so you should tie me up and maybe torture me a little or something. We don't do that here. Maybe you ought to look into getting some counseling or something. This is an insult to my dignity as a soldier. So this is how you mock and torment us! Yes, okay, whatever. We'll let you over the next town. It was never our intent to make you our prisoner, you know. Of course. Really, Rebecca, it's okay. See this? Oh, pretty. It's kind of flashy, isn't it? I mean, for a soldier. I think it's wonderful. You just don't know how to appreciate it. It suits you just fine. 
What's wrong? This is payment for the facilities and supplies here. I don't want your charity. No need. It was an emergency. You'll take it, understand? Huh? I will. That was a pretty expensive gesture. Don't worry about it. We all make sacrifices. As a prisoner, I mean. It's just a matter of course. You're not listening up, are you? You just don't seem to understand what's going on. You're not our prisoner, Rebecca. You're just playing mind tricks, aren't you? I've decided! Hmm? Huh? I don't think Rebecca should have to pay for everything with her <clears throat> necklace. I used up all the electricity. I should pay something, too. That would only be fair, after all. Are you nuts? That's not how it works. In fact, I'll get Rebecca a new necklace to replace the old one, because she's our friend. Right, Sir Uncle? Uh -huh. Where are you going to get the money? You're in orbital frame. I'll get a part-time job. Oh. Huh? Dollface getting a part-time job? <laughs> You're a machine! You can't go out and get a job! I can if I want! You can't want anything! Yes, I can! If I want! No, I'm arguing with a machine! Mental terrorism! Go! Well, she's a live one, isn't she? Any news yet? Did they find her? We've received word from a communications operator in the far Mexico sphere. It appears that an unknown trailer has come in from the storm. Trailer? Is Rebecca on board? Don't know. But it's a big one. A transport that's large enough to convey even an orbital frame. Do you think it's ISIS? I'm not sure. But rather than chasing around the desert, I think it's a good place to start looking. Hmm. I agree. It should match up well enough. It sure looks the same. Well, look who's here. Huh? It's a nice surprise to see you. <laughs> you really got us out of a jam back then. There. <laughs> I'm not really a transportation expert. I'm glad to have been of service. So, uh, what kind of work is it that you do here, Nikolai? Maintenance on dome spheres, mostly. I'm sort of the Dr. Dome who actually makes house calls. People spot a problem and I show up right away. Oh, I guess that explains how you know so much about parts. I don't know everything, just work. You know what? Uh-huh, I'm listening. This is something kind of funny, but I don't even know what your name is. It's Noel. Oh no, I just said my real name. Noel, that's a real nice name. Do you really like it? <laughs> Ah, oh, that's so refreshing. I can't believe this is the best hotel, even though I've seen worse. The rates here are totally ridiculous. Well, that's odd. Huh. Huh? It's gone now. It's not in any pictures. How could it just vanish like that? It was an FEV, but it's not here on the screen anymore. Who are those people? What in the world? How can you be opposed to Buff from knowing what you know? Mars people suffer here. This is a war. We've been under the thumb of cruel Earth tyranny for too long. All Earth people hate Martians, and we hate them right back. Well, it's not good to make generalizations, you know. 
It's so confusing. I don't understand it myself. Dolores, you should come away with me to Buffram. No one will treat you bad. I'll even guarantee his safety, though I can't imagine why you'd want to keep him. I am a commanding officer. Where I come from, I have authority and I arrange things. We can fight together for Mars, Dolores. For Mars? I'm sorry, kid. We just can't do that. You say you won't, but I want to know why. Well, it's a very long story, but the short of it is that it has to do with my missing wife. She's the person who created Dolores. Don't be absurd. Who ever heard of anything like an Earther making an orbital frame? She gave me explicit instructions, and I can't disobey them now. What? Why did she do that? What did she tell you to do with her? And why does it matter so much to you? You're a free man. Rebecca, Sir Uncle's wife is not from Earth. Huh? You mean you're an Earther who went and married a Mars woman? Is that wrong? It's not just wrong, it's completely idiotic. You're from Earth. Her alliance is to Mars. The part that frustrates me the most is thinking that people from Mars and people from Earth are really so different. I married Rachel because I was in love with her. None of the other stuff mattered and it doesn't matter now. Mars and Earth have nothing to do with it. I can't believe it. You really think you mean all that stuff? The electromagnetic storm is subsiding. I'll try to contact Leon. You do that, doll. I'm going to try it right now. We're counting on you. Well, this is just great. Hmm? Leon, can ah. you hear me? Do you copy, Leon? I copy already. Is everything all right? We're peachy, Dad. Do you have Dolores? I'm here. Hey, I'm sending the coordinates for the rendezvous. Get back here quick, okay? <laughs> the scoop of the century. Sorry to keep you waiting. Thanks for the ice cream. It's no problem. I'm just sorry I didn't have the time or money to buy a real dinner. Oh, this is more than enough, really. Thank you. Do you like this? I bought it for my sister, but she didn't like it. You can have it if you want. Really? Go on. Please accept it. It's just a simple trinket. <gasps> it doesn't look like a trinket. It would suit you. Trust me, it's nothing. Well, all right then. <gasps> what do you want, big brother? What? Dad's checked in? Okay, got it. I'm heading back now. We'll be parting ways soon enough now. I'll be really sad to see you go. Huh? We were just becoming friends, you know. Us becoming friends? I promise I'll get you a new necklace and send it to you. Just stop it! We are not friends here! Oh, I think we are. We're not! Oh. <gasps> <gasps> But we were at the power plant Calm together. down, Dollface! You're not a person! You're only an orbital frame! <laughs> Look out! It's a beam attack! Hurry! Evasion action! Right! Rally, stop! A big surprise attack is the only way. ISIS is too fast. But what if Rebecca is on board? Our orders are to recover ISIS. The commanding officer is aware of the risk. That's not right! I'm following through and she would do the same. I'm going to rescue Rebecca first! I'm home! Where the heck you been? What? You said we should rendezvous at two. It's exactly two. The situation has changed. Dolores and Dad are under attack. <gasps> Who's after them this time? I wanted to take you to town, but this will have to do. Take that and use it to flag down your friends when they come by. I'm sorry about the necklace. You forgive me? Buy it back for me. If you're my friend, you'll do it. Absolutely! I will! <laughs> come on, doll. Right! 
Fight! Tally ho! I decided! Where is she hiding? What? Rally too. <laughs> Rally has no chance against Isis. Come on, we'll hook up with the kids and get out. Now they're running away. X. Keep on it. You don't have to tell me. Rebecca down there! Keep on ISIS, Axel. I'm going to get the commanding officer! Oh, damn. Damn! How is everybody? We're great, Dad. Would you stop it? What a heart-wrenching reunion. I thought you abandoned ship back there. I got back on. I was just going to get something I forgot, but then you started moving. So I guess you're stuck with me. Lucky us. I wasn't planning on staying in town long anyway. I won't get in your way. Promise. Really? Dad, tell her off. We can't turn around now, Leon. It'll be all right. <sighs> you two are such pushovers. There isn't a spine between you. Oh, come on, Noelle. Let's be good friends. Good friends? Are you nuts? Hey, us girls have to stick together, you know. I'm glad you're all right. We were worried. But Isis got away. We'll fix it! What about the Earthers? What do you guys think there? Huh? What do you mean? They're our mortal enemies! I hate the Earthers, and I'll kill anyone I meet! That's so. What do you mean, Rebecca? What's got into you? What did they do? <gasps> Rebecca, where's your necklace? Huh? The necklace I gave you before we left! I know you were wearing it before the mission! Well, I... I, I guess I must have lost it. What do you mean? <sighs> did they harm you in any way? I'll kill them! I don't remember, and I'm tired, so I'm going to bed. You bastard Earthers! You'll pay! Good night, sweet dreams to you. Riding on a ship of Spread your white wings Cover me softly, good night A flying ship dreams of journey